In major provocation to China, U.S. approves sale of $2.2 billion in weapons to Taiwan. For those wondering how to make sure that any trade ceasefire between the U.S. and China falls apart faster than a trip on board the Lolita Express, here is a suggestion. Today the U.S. State Department approved the possible sale to Taiwan of M182T Abrams tanks, Stinger missiles and related equipment at an estimated value of $2.2 billion US dollars despite vocal Chinese criticism of the deal, App reported. As a reminder, one month ago China's foreign ministry last month said it was seriously concerned about U.S. arms sales to self-rule Taiwan, and urged the United States to halt the sales to avoid harming bilateral ties. The proposed sale also comes at a perilously sensitive moment. At the start of June, during the Shangri-La dialogue in Singapore, China's Defense Minister Wei Feng warned the United States not to meddle in security disputes over Taiwan and the South China Sea. He also launched into a bellicose attack on opponents to China's expansionist plans towards the South China Sea and Taiwan, declaring, if they want to fight, we will fight till the end. China's Defense Minister General Wei Feng In response, Acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan told the meeting that the United States would no longer tiptoe around Chinese behavior in Asia, confirming that, a sale of more than $2 billion in weapons to Taiwan would be seen as a provocation to China's national interest in the region, and a clear signal that the gloves are now off when it comes to geopolitical claims potentially resulting in a worrisome escalation of a war which has so far been confined to the sphere of trade. The sale of the weapons requested by Taiwan, including 108 General Dynamics Corp M1A2T Abrams tanks and 250 Stinger missiles, would not alter the basic military balance in the region, the Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation Agency said. DSCA has notified Congress of the possible arms sale, which it said could also include mounted machine guns, ammunition, Hercules armored vehicles for recovering inoperative tanks, heavy equipment transporters and related support. The United States is the main arms supplier to Taiwan, which China deems a renegade province. Beijing has never announced the use of force to bring the island under its control. Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen said in March that Washington was responding positively to Taipei's requests for new arms sales to bolster its defenses in the face of pressure from China. While the U.S. has no formal ties with Taiwan but is bound by law to help provide it with the means to defend itself. China demands U.S. sever military ties with Taiwan after $2.2 billion arms proposal. As expected on Tuesday China slammed the U.S. State Department's newly approved potential sale to Taiwan of M1A2T Abrams tanks, Stinger missiles and related equipment at an estimated value of $2.2 billion U.S. dollars. Beijing has long vehemently criticized U.S.-Taiwan defense relations, which it sees as encroaching on its sovereignty and specifically its One China principle regarding Taiwan. China's foreign ministry said the planned weapons transfer grossly interferes with Chinese internal affairs and undermines its security interests, and further called on the U.S. to sever military ties with Taiwan. The U.S. arms sales to Taiwan severely violate international law, the basic norms governing international relations, the One China Principle and the Three China U.S. Joint Communiques Foreign Ministry spokesperson Geng Shuang said. It grossly interferes in China's internal affairs and undermines China's sovereignty and security interests. Taiwan is approved for Raytheon Stinger missiles as part of the potential sale. U.S. Marine Corps photo. The statement underscored that China will take every action to safeguard its national sovereignty while opposing foreign interference as Taiwan is an inalienable part of China's territory, according to official state-run Xinhua news agency. China urges the United States to honor its commitment to the One China Principle and the Three China U.S. Joint Communiques, 
immediately withdraw the aforementioned planned arms sales to and sever military ties with Taiwan to avoid further damage to bilateral relations and peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, said the spokesperson. The possible deal is said to include 108 General Dynamics M1A2T Abrams tanks and 250 Stinger missiles, as well as mounted machine guns and ammunition. As a reminder, one month ago China's foreign ministry last month said it was seriously concerned about U.S. arms sales to self-rule Taiwan, and urged the United States to halt the sales to avoid harming bilateral ties. In response, Acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan told the meeting that the United States would no longer tiptoe around Chinese behavior in Asia, confirming that, a sale of more than $2 billion in weapons to Taiwan would be seen as a provocation to China's national interest in the region, and a clear signal that the gloves are now off when it comes to geopolitical claims, potentially resulting in a worrisome escalation of a war which has so far been confined to the sphere of trade.